Hi, this is the preacher from the Philippines. I'm an ordained minister. I went to Bible college and I have 35 years of preaching the gospel. So I'm sharing all of you watching this video. I know what I'm talking about. And I'm assuring you, if you will not listen to this message, you will surely burn, damned to hell. Let me read some comments from JC Mark 777. If you are listening, dear uh, JC Mark 777, I'm embarrassed that I come, that I came from the same country. No wonder why Philippines remained a backwater, backwater third world country. Why he would he could be so steeped in superstition and ignorance? You know, it's your shame on you, JC Mark 777. I'm not preaching my own message, I am preaching the words of God. Therefore, I am not preaching any superstition, I am preaching the truth because my preaching, my message comes from the words of God. If you cannot stand to listen to those other people deriding and ridiculing you I don't care you can ridicule me you can deride me before ever I'm telling you there will be a payday why you cannot believe this message because it is a message from God and it's because you're full of evil you JC Mark 777 is possessed by Satan right now and I'm telling you if you want to repent Hell is waiting for you. You'll never be a true Christian as long as you condemn and put your, yourself above who do not share your belief. I've been telling you, I'm not condemning you. It is the Bible that condemns you. Because of your arrogance and boastfulness, because you don't like to believe in the name of the Son of God, you are then therefore condemned now. Let me read to you. John chapter 3. Listen very carefully, you! J.C. Mark 777. Uh, John chapter 3, starting from verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. Verse 18. Listen back up on the you. JC Mark 777. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who believes in Jesus Christ will never be condemned. But he who does not believe is condemned already. That's why all of you now are all condemned for not believing in Jesus Christ. Is this my word? Is this my message? No. It is the message of God. This is the Bible that says so here. I'm going to share it to you. Now you keep on accusing me, accusing me that I'm condemning you for not sharing my beliefs. No! It is the Bible that condemns you. It is the words of God that condemns you. And I'm just delivering you the message. This is what the Bible says so. And the Bible and the words of God will stay, will stand forever. But you, you will all be done to go to hell forever and ever for not believing the words of God, for being so arrogant and boastful. You will never win, I'm telling you. Okay, let's continue. Uh, above, who do not share your belief, which are really falsely beliefs, a product of centuries of. Um, colonial brainwashing you spit in the name of Christ in all of his teachings by your very act of condemnation of those who have done no evil to you what are you talking about you JC Mark 777 I'm telling you a product of centuries of colonial brainwashing shame on you I'm preaching the words of God I'm telling you the words of God and you do not like to believe I know what you want, I know what you like. You like me to preach to you a lies, isn't it? Lies, okay, okay, yeah, all of you at this. You want lies, okay? 
You want to hear this? Okay, atheist. All of you atheists will not be condemned. You can blaspheme God. You can mock God. You can ridicule God. You can deride God. And on judgment day, if there is heaven, if there is hell, God will not judge you. God will not condemn you. God is alive in God. He will still forgive you. Even if you're already in hell, God can still show His mercy and rescue you in that terrible place. And God will still let you enter into His kingdom because He is alive in God. No way! Telling you, all of you, you will all be dumb and condemned to go to hell. And you, JC Max 777, why are you a Filipino? Why can you not understand the truth? The truth is God loves you, He died for you, but if you will not accept Him as your Savior, you will go to hell. That's what the Bible says. And you keep on pretending, keep on pretending. That I am what? That I am preaching a basis of condemnation. That I speak. Oh God! The name of Christ, shame on you, all of you. There is only one reason why you keep on dreading and ridiculing me. There is only one reason. What is that reason? Because you cannot accept the truth. You cannot accept the fact. And hardening your heart. I'm telling you to all of you, there will be a payday. And when that day will come, you will all be sorry for being so arrogant and proudful and boastful. When you will hear your name, one by one, all of you, at this. And you will hear these words of this great God. Depart from me, all of you atheists who are so arrogant and boastful, ye be cast into the lake of fire forever and ever. This will be your eternal home, lake of fire. You will feel the pain, but you are not dying. You are being tormented, but you are not dying. You will cry for mercy. You will scream for another chance. God will not listen to you. He will just love you. He will just mock you. You are hearing now the message of truth. I never preached, I never delivered any message that comes from my own imagination, from my own teaching and reasoning and logic. No! Everything that I preach comes directly from the word of God. It's very clear. Psalms chapter 14 verse 1 The fool had said in his heart that there is no God. They are corrupt. They, are, they have done abominable things in the sight of God. This is what the Bible says so. And yet, why do you ridicule me? Why? Because I am delivering you the message of truth. I am just reading it from the Bible. And you cannot accept it. You cannot believe it. Why? You are all possessed by Satan. I know I'm just wasting my time preaching to all of you at this for being so arrogant, stubborn, confused. Why do I do this? Please, I'm trying my best, hoping against the hope. Even if one of you will be saved, that will be enough for me. All of you, millions of atheists around the world, if, even if only one soul will be saved, the Bible says, all angels in heaven are rejoicing. And all of you atheists, arrogant and boastful, who doesn't like to believe the words of God, go ahead! Go to hell! To all of you. You blaspheme God. Ridic ridicule God. You dread God. You mock Him. What salvation awaits for you? I've been challenging you! So many, many days to prove to me that there is no God. But none of one commands. Did you ever sin? Why? Because you cannot prove that there is no God. You are all liars. The spirit of Satan is residing to all of you atheists. I hope you will make up your mind before it will be too late.